Hello, this is my face, which I'm used to by now. It measures exactly 26 centimeters, around the size of a very small chihuahua. But there are other animals that fit here too, and not just on mine, on all faces. We could fit the smallest monkey, the pygmy marmoset on here. An Etruscan shrew, the lightest mammal, here. Maybe even a couple of bumblebee bats, and a bee hummingbird. Mammals and birds don't get any smaller, as they're warm-blooded animals, and heat loss becomes a real problem when you're this small. But cold-blooded animals can get even tinier. For instance, here's the smallest reptile, the nano-chameleon, the smallest fish, the stout infant fish, and the smallest recorded vertebrate, this tiny little frog. At this size, all of these miniature animals have highly simplified bodies. This frog has kissed goodbye to some bones, but in other miniature animals, muscles, teeth, and sometimes even entire organ systems are lost, all to embrace living a simpler life. Then there's the invertebrates that can get even smaller. The smallest known spider and the smallest known insect are barely visible to the human eye. Though there are many different evolutionary forces driving animals to smaller sizes. One of the drivers is certainly that the smaller you are, the more likely you'll be able to find enough resources to sustain yourself. And some of these resources are right under our noses. Oh hello, meet Demodex, the face mite, a microscopic arachnid that exclusively lives on human skin. The pore is its humble abode, and the waxy sebum we secrete its meal of choice. And it's estimated that between 1.5 and 2.5 million of them live on our bodies at any one time. Now this news could make you recoil in horror, but thankfully they are a commensal species, which means that whilst they benefit from us, they are completely harmless. These mites are adapted to live only on human skin, so we likely pick them up from our parents and from other close intimate partners. In fact, face mites are so faithful to humans that they've been used to study human evolutionary history by proxy. Their existence on our skin is short-lived, as their lifespan is only around 20 days. They don't even poop in that time. They'll meet the opposite sex at the entrance of a pore, mate, and lay up to 24 eggs to continue the next generation. So whilst many of our pores might seem like nothing to us, we are the face of our commensal mites' entire world. Mm -hmm.